Well, hi, and a, uh, I think a third attempt actually today with internet uh, challenges for number 70 of these 100 little breakthrough messages. And as you know, I'm just uh, working through my breakthrough journey um, of the breakthrough with cancer um, from 2008 and uh, the book that I wrote. And it just occurred to me, I'll just run through each of the chapter headings um, for a few of these days and just share uh, some of my thoughts and uh, yesterday we had a look at uh, how, you know, an encounter with heaven really encouraged me. Uh, and today I just want to uh, focus on uh, a part of my journey, which was that I, my life was saved by a dream. And it wasn't my dream. It was a dream that somebody else had about me. And I want to just encourage you with that. Take notice. Sometimes people say, oh, I had a dream about you. And it's very easy just to dismiss it and try and interpret it from that person's point of view. But sometimes it's for you. Sometimes it is something that you can take notice of. And I was able literally to access something in my uh, subconscious in the middle of the night when I was very, very sick. And, uh, and as a result of that, asked the Lord for help and he gave it to me. And uh, I believe that uh, it was me remembering that somebody had a dream in which I saved my life that caused me to cry out to God in the middle of the night and actually to receive the answer uh, which I needed at that moment in time. I just want to encourage you with this. Um, take note of the dreams that other people have about you. I, I've had about four or five very significant examples of that. And, you know, it's the way he works. Um, and I love the way that he works. And sometimes it's about him getting our attention. And, and that's the key. And uh, as you press in for your breakthrough, I, I just want you to expand uh, what you take notice of. I want you to expand what you give attention to. And it, yesterday we had a look at the unseen. And today, of course, the dream is unseen as well. That nocturnal dream that either someone else has or, or you have. But it, it came up several times in my story. Even in the week of kisses, somebody had a dream about me. And uh, another one was where uh, something was going on the other side of the world and somebody texted me about a dream that they'd had. As we encourage you, take notice. This is part of the language of the spirit. And when you're pressing in for a breakthrough, it's so easy to... Uh, kind of get smothered with all the detail of it and, and you know the negative stuff of it and sometimes you just need to step back and and pay attention to what he might be saying and especially I think uh, if somebody else comes up to you and says I had a dream about you and and in all honesty I also quite often will have this I'll be aware of something have a dream and get you know get up the next morning and contact the person I had a dream about and I, I'll often not know what the dream was it would just be hey, you were in my dream last night. Are you okay? Anything you need? Anything I can pray for? Or just say hi. I'm just thinking of you. Uh, so pay attention to these things. You might be the person that brings some breakthrough or it might be someone else's dream that brings you the breakthrough. But pay attention. I just want to encourage you in that. Pay attention to these different ways in which he talks. And uh, that was a, a very significant part of my journey of my kisses from a good God was the dream that somebody else had about me um, that actually led me in the middle of the night to cry out for, to God for wisdom. And he gave it to me in a very unique way, but in a very dramatic way. And I turned around a crisis in less than 15 minutes in the middle of the night, semi-conscious because of a dream. And uh, that's the way he works. So as you press in for your breakthrough, increase what you pay attention to and I'll chat to you later. Bye for now.